Now I'm sure you already know that there are quite a lot of places in the world and quite a lot of schools where getting a TEFL job as someone who doesn't speak English as the first language, someone who's a non-native speaker, will be very, very difficult. However, did you know that there are actually lots and lots of places where you can find work and not just any work, but where you can be really appreciated for being a good English teacher and where your first language will actually not matter at all. If you didn't, then in this video, I want to show you these places and show you the schools where you can start teaching as a non-native speaker. So let's get started. If you're new here, guys, then my name is Marek Kiczkowiak and I run TEFL Equity Advocates and Academy, where I help English teachers tackle native speakerism and I also help non-native speaker teachers improve their job opportunities. If you enjoy this video, then consider hitting that subscribe button and that little bell button so you don't miss any future videos and maybe give this video a like so it reaches more people. That would be very, very helpful. So just a bit of background. I have taught English since about 2007 and I've always taught English abroad apart from the first year when I was still a student in university and I taught a little bit in Poland. But since then I've taught English in seven different countries in Europe and Latin America. I've taught English in Costa Rica, in Spain, in Hungary. I've taught in the UK and I've taught in language schools and in universities. I'm currently working for a university in Brussels. Why am I telling you this? Well, because it, I want you to know that it is possible to succeed as a non-native speaker. It is possible to start getting TEFL jobs wherever, really practically, wherever in the world you want to start getting them. And when you go on forums for English language teachers, especially for specifically for non-native speakers or forums where people post jobs, it's very easy to start getting a very negative impression because there will be a lot of job ads for native speakers and I think it's really important that all of us start replying to those job ads and telling those recruiters why it's completely, completely inappropriate to advertise for native speakers only and if you want to do that there's a link to a sample email and a comment template that you can literally copy and paste if you want to reply to those recruiters and tell them why what they're doing is not appropriate. So you might start getting a rather pessimistic outlook on your prospects of finding a job as a non-native speaker. Another thing that I've seen people focus on very often is English teaching jobs in countries such as China, or South Korea, for example. And of course, they're very nice countries to go to. I'd love to go and teach in China. Why not? But these are one of the two, three, I think there are about five countries in the world. These are China, South Korea, Indonesia, and Taiwan, which actually in their law have specific requirements for who can get the visa as an English teacher. And if you don't come for what is, from what is perceived as a native speaking country, you will never get a visa. So what puzzles me very often is why non-native speakers tend to focus so much on these countries. I probably see like 10 questions a day. Can I teach English in China as a non-native speaker? Can I teach English in South Korea? And the simple answer is you can't. But this does not mean that you cannot teach English abroad as a non-native speaker. After all, there are another 180 or 90 something countries where you could potentially go and try and teach English as a non-native speaker. And again, I don't mean that these visa policies are right. They're completely wrong. And I think we should do everything in our power as an ELT profession to try and change these. And in fact, there is an amazing, really amazing blog post from an English speaker who in fact is somebody who speaks English as a first language. And that person has been working very closely with Taiwanese 
politicians to try and change the law that currently prohibits non-native speakers from getting a work visa. So check it out right below this video. So what I'm trying to say here is that it doesn't really make sense to focus on the negative or to focus on those two, three, five places in the world where you will never ever be able to get a job as a non-native speaker. If you want to teach abroad as a non-native speaker, if you want to succeed, then you should be focusing on the places where you can teach. And there are plenty of them. And in here, I just want to give you a couple of examples. You might think that this is perhaps counterintuitive, but you should really, really focus on and aim for very well-known and well-established language school chains. In here, I'm thinking about a language school chain such as the British Council, for example, or International House, or Bell. These are very respected language schools, and you might think, well, as a non-native speaker, I would never stand a chance of teaching in those schools. Surely something, an institution like British Council would only want to hire British teachers. This is this couldn't be further from the truth, actually. These institutions really value diversity and they hire teachers not based on where this teacher is from or which language they speak as a mother tongue, but they hire teachers based on their ability to teach. I would encourage you to go to, for example, British Council job site and try to find one job ad which would specify a native speaker. You're not going to find these job ads at all. They'll specify the proficiency level that they want. And as a non-native speaker, you might need to prove your proficiency. So it's always a good idea to pass something like IELTS or CPE or CAE to have that. So these well-known schools are a great place to start searching for a job as a non-native speaker. There are also many other countries around the world where you can teach English. I've been teaching English in Belgium and I think it's a great place to teach if English is not your first language and there's a video that I made about this place. And I've also prepared for you a list of different countries and places where you can teach English. This list is on my website and you can see it right here and you can see that there is really a lot of language schools in many different countries where you could start applying right now as a non-native speaker. So this is available on my website. You can click on the link right below this video to get the full list and start applying to those schools and to those countries. If you enjoy this video, then don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button as well so this video reaches more people. And if you want more tips like that, if you're interested in finding out how to get TEFL jobs as a non-native speaker, if you want to tackle native speakerism, then definitely check out my TEFL Equity Academy courses and I posted the link right below this video.